Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with a Craftin' and Stampin' Design Team Smashbook page. I'm using the Wildwood book from Close to My Heart, and I got that from Jessica Wilson from Craftin' and Stampin'. I will put the links in the description box below. And today I decided I wanted to use a craft page, but I did want a little bit of paper on there. So I'm looking through the Chevron stack from the Paper Studio, and I got this from Hobby Lobby. I love this paper. It's very thin paper, so um, you have to be careful on what you use it with. But I knew I wanted something with pink in it to match my niece's shirt, so I love this piece of paper here. So I'm just going to cut it to, um, I didn't actually measure that, the height of it. I just knew that I wanted it the same width of the book, which is six and a half inches. I love the craft paper in there, um, especially adding pops of color to it. So I didn't like how the, the pictures were just floating on there. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a, a base color. And she was wearing gray polka dot pajama pants. So I wanted to add a little bit of gray paper behind it. And now I'm deciding on, um, I know I want to use some trim and I wanted to match the pink with it, but I really, I didn't end up going with the pink. I like just the regular silver trim. So at this point I wasn't sure, so I just cut off several pieces of both to try and decide. And I'm going to add my ATG tape to the back, but I don't want to stick the top down because I knew I wanted to put something behind the top. So that um, piece of paper there, it's a non-stick paper and it came in um, my ATG glue rolls. I saved them because I use those for everything. You can if you're adding glossy accents to something and you know it's just a non-stick surface so um, if you use ATG I highly recommend that you save those out of your glue box that they come in because they are really useful I use them all the time actually so I printed out two pictures I believe they're three by four and they're not my printer does not print out the best pictures but I'm happy with them for a smash book. If I was doing like a real um, important scrapbook page, I would probably go and have them printed out at either Walgreens or Walmart. But for my smash book, I'm really happy with how it prints out. So I had this vellum piece that I cut from the Cameo quite a while ago and I just had it sitting on my desk. I wanted to use it in a project, so I decided to go ahead and use it here. I'm just adding glue behind where I think that the picture is going to be because you will see the glue under the vellum. So I'm just adding it in the middle under the photo. And now my photos will hold that vellum piece down. These are two tags that I cut out using Heidi Swap's Vintage Chic paper. And I used my EK Success one half inch circle punch to add um, the look of whole re reinforcements on the tags. And I will use my Big Bite to put a hole in the middle because I thought I was going to use this crochet chine, twine to put in the top of both of them, which I do one of them, but I decided something different on the second one. So I really didn't need a hole in the pink striped one, but at, at the time I didn't know that's what I was going to do. So now I'm just going to thread my crochet twine in there and on the other one I decided to do a bow out of seam binding so I just quickly tie a little bow and use some hot glue to adhere that to the tag I thought it went well with um, that tag and it's kind of soft the seam binding I like using seam binding it's a very soft element to add to a page without adding too much bulk so now I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to put anything else behind there. So I take out that nonstick 
piece and just go ahead and place it down. And then I needed to add a little bit of glue behind the tags to make sure that they don't move. So now I'm, I'm going to glue down the rhinestone trim, but I did not want that vellum going past that. I wanted to, it to end at the end of my pattern paper, so I'm just trimming it up and then using some hot glue to add the rhinestone trim down. And I'm going to do that to both the top and bottom of the pattern paper just to balance it out. So now I cut out my niece's name from the cameo. So I'm just going to add it at the top and the bottom. Her name is Kylie and her middle name is Grace. I have these little journaling cards. They, they're, they come in a set of three from the cameo. Sweet, lucky, and I can't remember what the third one is, but I wanted to use that sweet one because she is the sweetest little girl you've ever met. So I thought it just was so appropriate on the page. And now using the Heidi Swaps uh, Vintage Sheet Collection, again, I cut out a bow. You know I love my bows on the page. So I wanted it to match that tag up at the top. And what I do, I get asked sometimes um, what size I use my bows. I don't even look at the size whatsoever. What I do is I knew after I decided to use that pattern paper, I knew the pattern paper was six and a half by six. So I did a box on my Cameo six and a half by six, and I put in two boxes of three by four, which were the size of my pictures. And then the bottom part of the bow that has the scallop on the bottom, I drag that to where I think I might put it on my page. It doesn't really matter. I can move it around. And then I size it that way. I just drag it down smaller or larger. And that way I can kind of gauge on how it's going to look on my page. So unfortunately, I never look at the size. But that's a way to be able to move it around and be able to decide if you think the size is going to be right. And then sometimes if I'm not sure, I will cut out another one that's larger and another one that's smaller so I can try it on there. So I hope that helps. And I will put the links to Crafting and Stampin' down in the description box below. I really appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.